all our products will proudly claim made in india india will present to the world a template of a green economy movement which will truly be a people's movement this is mukesh ambani india's business tycoon and the richest man in asia announcing a massive 10.1 billion dollars of investment into clean energy over the next 3 years his conglomerate reliance industries plans to build four gigantic gigafactories which will churn out solar cells hydrogen fuel cells Battery storage technology is creating an entire green ecosystem over the next decade. While the whole world has been busy with COVID and rolling out vaccines, this huge announcement by Reliance went largely unnoticed by the world. This announcement by Reliance Industries will have cascading effects in the oil industry given that Reliance is one of the biggest players in the fossil fuel business and gets 60% of its revenue from oil and petrochemicals. So why did Asia's richest man suddenly pivot into green energy? Sit back and relax as we unveil the three-part master plan of Mukesh Ambani, which will revolutionize the green energy sector, not only in India, but also the world. All our products we proudly claim made in India by India for India and for the world. Reliance was started by Mukesh Ambani's father, Dhirubhai Ambani, in 1960 as a small textile company. Today, the Mumbai-based conglomerate operates the world's largest oil refining complex, telecommunications, mass media, textiles, petrochemicals, natural gas, and retail. In the annual general meeting, AGM, the company held last month, Mukesh Ambani offered a peek into the new world order awaiting some of the world's largest fossil fuel producers. At the company's virtual annual meeting, Ambani talked about the three-part plan, which would make Reliance not only a world leader in green energy technology, but also make Reliance carbon neutral by 2035. Isn't a fossil fuel company vying to become carbon neutral directly antithetical? Yes, you heard it right. This is the first time a major player from the fossil fuel industry has given a clear-cut plan to not only transition to renewable energy, but also become carbon neutral. According to Horace Chan, Reliance is branching out in a completely new business. Although Ambani isn't quite turning away from his petrochemicals and oil businesses, far from it actually. In fact, Ambani's Reliance has signed a 15 billion dollar deal with Saudi Arabian oil company Aramco, the biggest petroleum and gas company for 20% of stake in Reliance oil to chemical business in 2019. Aramco's chairman Yasser Al Rumian in fact joined the board of Reliance last month. This isn't the first tryst of Mukesh Ambani when it comes to renewable energy. Last year when Reliance announced that they planned to shift towards hydrogen, EVs, solar and battery, and in the same meeting announced the Aramco deal, it marked a significant shift of Reliance which was founded on fossil fuels. It might appear to be at odds with the Saudi Arabian oil company, but in an interview with Bloomberg's Haslinda Amin, Mukesh said, "We have no option as a society, as a business, but to really adopt a sustainable business model, unlocking the solar potential of India." Ambani's plans of creating an entire ecosystem of green energy as it seeks to position itself to ride the global energy transition has far-reaching implications in the world. The first one would manufacture solar photovoltaic cells for production of solar energy. Reliance plans to generate over 100 gigawatts of solar energy by 2030. As solar energy is only available during the day, while power would be required around the clock, storage is a very important piece of the puzzle. And hence, the second gigafactory would be an advanced energy storage gigafactory. Reliance plans to manufacture highly efficient large-scale grid batteries to store the electricity produced by the Reliance's solar modules. Manufacturing affordable and high-capacity storage batteries is a very important part of its green energy push, without which the energy ecosystem would remain incomplete. Unlike Elon Musk, who deemed hydrogen power to be I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydrogen fuel cells because I just think that they're extremely silly. Mukesh Ambani plans to create an entire electrolyzer gigafactory for the production of green hydrogen. Ambani is pushing hydrogen as another green alternative to EVs, like hydrogen power cars, etc. And has dedicated an entire gigafactory just to produce green hydrogen. The fourth gigafactory will manufacture battery fuel cells. which will power electric automobiles, trucks and buses. These green energy ecosystems, solar modules plus battery storage solutions plus fuel cells plus green hydrogen will not only enable ordinary households to completely go off grid, but can also help power data centers, telecom towers, emergency generators, etc. This announcement comes after Reliance raised a whopping 44.4 billion dollars last year. Despite the pandemic, with India's Prime Minister Modi and global leaders actively supporting action on climate change, Reliance's timing on its push towards green energy could not have been better. The world is entering a new energy era, and Mukesh Ambani wants to be a part of it. 
Reliance is pushed towards creating this energy ecosystem, and I would like to emphasize on the word ecosystem, will have far wider implications in the world. You see, just by creating electric cars, without first creating the ecosystem, you weren't actually solving the emissions problem. This means that if you rely on fossil fuels like coal power plants to generate electricity, you are actually burning more fossil fuel per mile. You have essentially pushed emissions from cars to highly polluting coal powered plants, as has been demonstrated by Singapore where the Singapore government banned or outright refused to give any tax break on the $100,000 Tesla Roadster because it didn't solve the problem of emissions. Ambani and Elon have both understood this precise problem. That's why Elon embarked on the manufacture of solar photovoltaic cells and battery storage solutions. Elon even went on ahead to announce that Tesla isn't just a car company, but an energy company. Now Ambani has also gone ahead to replicate the same model, but unlike Tesla, who is currently involved in manufacturing high-end electric cars, Ambani has not yet Taking into account that India spends around $100 billion every year on crude oil imports, this green energy ecosystem by Reliance will free up an enormous part of the national budget, permitting this cash to be utilized for more important things. This green energy ecosystem by Reliance for the first time promises not only India, but the whole world to be significantly energy self-reliant, freeing the country from energy blackmail by the Middle East, and its implications on foreign policy can't be overemphasized. Now, let us be very clear. This plan by Reliance can no way be termed as a short-term plan. Rather, it's a 20-25 to 25 year plan with vast economies of scale, industrial heft, and ability to deliver in bulk and on time. The sheer scale of this plan is what makes this plan a genius plan. It is highly optimized for large economies like India, and the sheer economies of scale will gradually drive down the cost. We are at an inflection point where there is no going back. And to think of it, that was the entire plan of Elon Musk. Let me be clear, Mukesh Ambani is not doing anyone any favor by investing billions into what I call the green energy ecosystem, because that's not how capitalism or money works. Clearly, the multi-billionaire sees a future where electric cars will be everywhere, and solar panels will be on the rooftops of every household and business. And you need huge efficient grid batteries to store that energy so your homes can have uninterrupted electricity even during the night when solar energy wouldn't be available. It's clearly in the interest of Mukesh Ambani to transition his conglomerate Reliance Industries from oil as its main source of revenue to green energy and battery storage solutions, which will be the future. It's in his vested interest to invest in the green sector. So the question is, can he do it? When Reliance forayed in the telecom sector five years ago and created Reliance Jio Communications, it toppled global telecom giants like Vodafone and Airtel in India. It took over a huge chunk of the market by lowering the average cost of one gigabyte of data by 65%, making India's data plans the cheapest in the world, at around 0.09 cents per gigabyte of data, compared to $12.4 per gigabyte in the US or 0.6 cents per gigabyte in China. This telecom move by Reliance propelled a huge internet revolution in India, propelling India's economic growth by offering cheap affordable data to the masses. This energy move is dubbed the Jaya move by experts where Ambani plans to completely revamp India's energy sector, which will propel India towards a green energy revolution. I mean when you see the major oil economies like Saudi Arabia and oil industries like Reliance investing in green energy, you really have to be foolish enough to think that crude oil will continue to be used in the future. Many experts say that we are at a crossroads, either we double down on crude oil or we double down on green energy. I say that we have already crossed that decisive moment when Tesla won public back in 2010. I mean, think about it. The more they, oil barons and short sellers, attack Tesla, the bigger it grew. The future has already been written, and it is a future of solar panels, battery storage solutions, hydrogen cars, electric vehicles. Anyone who is foolish enough to think otherwise and continues to double down on oil, they are up for a huge surprise in the coming decades when major industries like Reliance of India and others would have already established their energy infrastructure and their green ecosystem. The world is moving in mass towards green energy, and Reliance is expected to lead India to this new world. So we will leave it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. See you guys in the next one. I've been stone cold since you left me here. So come home. Why won't you